Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are continuing to build our solar stanchion. Um, if you remember last time, we just finished drilling our holes for each of the poles for the stanchion. So today we need to get some measurements. We have six 21 foot long steel pipes that need to get cut down to various sizes depending on where they are in the slope of the land. Yeah, so our grade is not flat, obviously. So within 27 feet, it roughly drops about two feet. So each pipe's a different length. Um, it's 27 feet length total, and the depth of it's about seven foot six. So, yep. so we're gonna get the laser out and uh, get some measurements, get started. Yeah, let's go. All right. On the back row of the stanchion as you can see the front row is already set with the pipe and clamped down so 
Um, this end of the stanchion is around 8 feet. The opposite end is getting closer to 10. The pipe weighs around 175 pounds. So uh, Charlie and Josh are trying to figure out exactly what the best method is to get the pipe up there, whether it's using a ladder or buckets and whatnot. So once we get that figured out, get the pipe up there, bolted down, then we can get everything leveled and start pouring the concrete. Kids here put the pipe up. If you look on this pipe right here, we're a little too far hanging over. We need to be from center of the vertical pipe seven inches to the edge of the horizontal pipe. So we're gonna go ahead and smack that thing with the hammer a few times and lock it in place. Alright, so we got this first set right here, the lower set. We got this thing all plumbed up and straight. We went ahead and uh, put kickers on it to hold it in place so it does not move. Um, doing the back side was the harder part, but once we got the, fir the first pipe going across and got our U bolts on there, what we did is take our track and put the track up to the back side and we plumbed it up by, by pushing it forward and we tightened that track up to the U bolts. It actually held it in place pretty nice. So we got kickers back here, so we're gonna start working from the east side and start working west and uh, once we get everything put in place we have concrete so we gotta get done before four o'clock because we have a 75 percent chance of rain coming so it's probably with noon right now so we got four hours with this thing buttoned up and uh get filled with concrete All right, so we have the stanchion built. It's built and done. Everything's straight, everything's plumb. It's all braced up. So next step is we're gonna start pouring concrete and then uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll start doing solar panels.
guys see that? Yeah, so me and Aaron would have been on the struggle bus if it was just me and her doing this. Probably a lot of yelling, a lot of cussing, trying to make it all work. So having a friend come over, give us a hand, um, extra set of hands was great. Yes. Her on one side holding up plum, him on the other side holding up plum. I'm both things down. So having three people do this task was definitely to our benefit. Um, we'd probably still be working on this if uh, it was just me and her. So Yes, it moves along a lot more smoothly. There's a lot Definitely of smoother. finagling going on and just readjusting of whatnot. So the extra set of hands uh, not only was helpful with that, but it just moved the entire project along a lot quicker. And we do have a snowstorm coming in, so time was of the essence. Yeah, So, but now it's done. So the next task we got to do, we got to start mounting solar panels. Yes. Wiring them up and then pretty much dig a trench to the house and start... <clears throat> Wiring everything up, getting everything turned on. Hopefully soon. Yes. Yep. So, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya. I don't remember what I said. Okay. All right. Take number nineteen for Aaron. Go. So we are feeling. Go. Nine. Cut. <laughs> Take twenty. Does anybody have a little Debbie to dangle in front of him? Maybe we could get this done faster. <laughs> what do you do? This? Cut the cat? <gasps> Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> it's soft. What can I say? Beard oil. <laughs> That's why his lips are so glossy. <laughs> Yeah, so we actually had an extra set of hands to give us a hand. <laughs> there it goes. I knew it was coming. Go.